Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this today's session, I'm gonna demonstrate on how to download the ready VM from my Google Drive and then extract them into your local system, either laptop or desktop, and then directly use them inside your virtual box. In our previous videos, I have demonstrated on how to install your Oracle VM virtual box on your Windows laptop or desktop. And then on top of that, how to install a Linux server from the scratch by downloading the ISO image from Oracle eDelivery, and then configure a new VM server in this Oracle virtual box. But in this today's demonstration, I'm going to uh, you know, there are ready VMs I already uploaded into my Google Drive. If you go to my Google Drive, uh, like go inside Oracle database course under VMs and ISOs, and you can see this VMs, and you can see this Oracle lab1.rar. That's a zip file, and you can go ahead and then download it. Once you download those uh, zip files, and you know, you'll see something like Oracle lab1 zip files here, and then go ahead and extract that. Uh, into your uh, whatever directory you want, C drive or D drive or wherever you want. You just download that. And then after downloading, you just unzip that, extract that one. That Oracle Lab 1 zip file, it'll get extract with the Oracle Lab 1 directory here. Right, so let it get complete this unzip. Right, so unzip is done. You will see this particular directory, Oracle Lab 1. And you just need to open your Oracle VM Virtual Manager and then click on this add button and then go to that particular directory where you downloaded. This is the path, you can go here and then just paste it here. And then you can see this uh, blue color icon, Oracle Lab 1, just select that and then open it. So you will see Oracle Lab 1, it's in powered off state and it's all configuration done here. You just need to click on the start button and then your Oracle, uh, we, we Oracle Enterprise Linux. It's a 7.0 version, and then it's a ready machine is readily available. You can just log in and directly start accessing this particular server. And then you can start with your uh, whatever installation, whether database installation or application installation or whatever purpose you are gonna use it. You can directly download this and then start this VM. And then you can use it for your, uh, whatever the purpose you wanted. Like right now, see, I, lost, I started this Oracle Lab one, and then it is asking for login prompt here. I'll just click on not listed. I can log in with the root and then password for that. And then it will get login uh, into this GUI mode into the server. And then you can take a putty session and then the root user connected to Oracle lab one. You can do host name. That's fully qualified host name. We'll get it here. Oracle lab one local domain.com and do IF config, and then IF config will give you ENP 0S3, ENP uh, 0S8. These are the two interfaces you can see it here. And then if I go back to my Oracle VM virtual box manager here, go to setting and go to network, you have a bridge adapter, and then you have a NAT adapter. These two adapter I selected here, because of that I got uh, two interfaces here. One is ENP S3 and ENP S8. And then this is bridge adapter and this is my NAT adapter. This is a private internal to that VM. And then this is a public IP, which is coming from my, whatever the broadband connection, I have it. If I do ping google.com, then I will be able to ping Google. So if I'm able to ping Google, then I can use this, uh, use this, this particular ENP, 0s3 that's my bridge adapter this is the ip address i can copy it and then i can go to my putty session click on this new session ssh and then paste that particular ip 192.168.1.7 click ok and then provide the username root password and then i'm able to connect to that server using putty session if i do if config and then i can see the same ip address and make sure make sure that this is ENP first adapter. That should be your uh, bridge adapter. Then only you are able to connect with that particular IP address. And if you see this other NAT adapter, and if I try to connect with that NAT IP address, that's a private internal to that VM. I will not be able to access that particular IP address from my putty session or from my uh, SSH session. See, this is not going to work out here. Right, so that's uh, you have to use this 
bridge adapter that's where you are able to connect to your server using putty session or the mobile app if i go to putty session here open this putty session and then click this ip address copy this ip address paste here and then open it and then again that will ask you to enter the username root and then the password for your username and then you are able to connect to that server using putty session or mobile app right so that's a simple way of uh, uh, getting ready with your ready vms which is readily available on my uh, google drive so if anybody interested just download that and then use that one and then just to quick a background about this uh, interfaces the interface first is my bridge adapter i have to use always bridge adapter ip address in order to access this vm from a putty session or from the mobile extreme session and then how i'm getting these ip addresses because of i need to go here application system tools setting and then network i can see enp s3 and enp s8 both are in connected state if i click on this one make sure that this connection is always check box so that whenever you restart this vm and automatically that ip address will be uh, assigned to this particular vm and if this ip address is got changed based upon your uh, network setting whenever you start this vm you may see that 192 168 1.8 or you may see this entire ip address is going to change based upon your network and you have to use this particular bridge adapter ip address from your interface one that's ip address which is able to connect from your uh, mobile extreme session or from your putty session that's the simplest way of getting ready with your uh, vms and then every time when you shut down your vm or shut down your laptop you are going to close this particular vm here and then every time you next day when you come online and when you want to work on that you have to start this particular vm go to your oracle vm virtual box manager and this oracle lab one which is in power of set just click on the start button and then that will be get started and then uh, go ahead and check it out what's the ip address whether the ip address is going to be same or sometimes ip address might be get changed because that's a dhcp ip address there's no guarantee you will get the same ip address sometimes it may change or sometimes it may remain same as old ip address and then you can uh, go ahead and use that particular ip address which is associated with your interface one that interface one is nothing but your uh, bridge adapter go to setting and then go to your network and then see the adapter one is your bridge adapter adapter two is your nat adapter right so your vm is again started here once again not listed click on root user just connect with the password and then your vm is started now and then we'll go to terminal and just do if config and then get the ip address of that it's remain same at whatever that old ip address and go to your mobile extreme take a new session ssh paste that ip address and then click okay then enter the username and then the password so it has to be like every day you have to do the same process you have to every time you have to shut down your vm and the next time when you boot your laptop or desktop you have to make sure that you have you have to start that vm once started and make sure that ip is assigned and then make sure that ping google.com is works that indicates that you know this particular ip is uh, this particular server is accessible from outside from your uh, mobile extreme or from your putty session right so that's a quick uh, intro about how to make use of uh, ready vms which is uploaded into my uh, google drive uh, thank you guys